When trying to travel extensively with no source of income, there's one perfect way to solve this. Now Workaway is not the only company that does this sort of thing, but basically how it works is pretty similar to something like Airtasker where there's a bunch of jobs listed, different, different tasks could be working at a hostel in a reception or helping out at a vineyard or something like that, but basically it's an exchange. So you, you do a couple hours a week and they, they give you free accommodation, sometimes free food and really just depends on the arrangement. The usual term goes for a month, but you can go longer or shorter. Some people even choose to make a lifestyle out of this where literally they're just traveling, volunteer one place, one month in a city, go to another city, do the same thing. But my goal was to work on an island. I was lucky enough to be able to do it in Hvar, Croatia. Now this process can be either streamlined or take a bit of time. I mean, you're sending applications to people that may not need someone. And to be honest, there was this really perfect one in Croatia. I was like, just looked perfect. I just was back from, you know, going out all the time and just, and drinking way too much. So I was at the point where I was literally applying for bunches of places and seriously not getting many good responses. and. I literally just blindly was like, I really want to get this one, I'm going to get on a train from Amsterdam, go all the way to Croatia, started that journey, and really, it wasn't only until that train ride where I actually got the job and I was so excited. I'm like, violently hungover right now. This shit's got done, man. And as you can see, that's a little snippet of me. Of my last night on the mainland, I suppose, I just had a big one, just to celebrate it a little bit. So the same with all things, when you get a new job or you're trying something new, you're always a bit nervous. And for me, I mean, I had to get up pretty early. This is like eight o'clock in the morning, probably. Get on this ferry. I'm going to go meet, meet him at the port so he can <laughs> pick me up. And honestly, yeah, I was nervous. But I was, I was uh, pretty optimistic, thinking this is going to be a good opportunity. And looking back, I can easily say I buckled in for one of the best months of Europe for me. I just realized I haven't really even done a proper intro for this video. So welcome back to another one of my vlogs. This one's a bit different, uh, a bit more of an insightful look into, I guess, my life this time. This was about May in the year. So it was pretty cold actually. I mean, you can see I'm wearing pants there. So yeah, it was actually much colder than you would think, but it was spring. So, you know, things are warming up. So finally, after I guess a somewhat awkward introduction and some nice awkward small talk, I finally met up with my <laughs> soon to be boss and I guess this is the point where I started to take in, I mean, the beautiful architecture and landscapes of this island and this is really what I was going to be surrounded with the, the next month, so that was exciting. It was a pretty uh, treacherous drive, I mean, lots of windy, very narrow roads and it's pretty crazy just to see how comfortable they are just driving around on these roads and coming up is actually a really cool tunnel. So, a surprising thing for me was that uh, my boss is actually Belgian. I mean, I'm in an island in Croatia, but he has a whole backstory about why he started his little glamping setup. But here's a quick snippet showing you. I mean, I know it's gotten dark, but that's because to get from one side of the island to the other, you've got to go through a tunnel. Literally crazy. It's like a couple of kilometers long. You're just going in there, it's just pitch black, and then look at it. You come out to this beautiful landscape again. The views are always nice here, and I mean, I can see why you'd fall in love with this place. As I said before, I mean, I was trying to get this job just to relax and just get away from everything for a bit, and as you can see now, I mean, we're getting out, out into the scrubs, I mean, just dirt roads and everything. And that's literally because it's, I think, I never did the drive, but I think it was like a two, two hour drive maybe to the city of Art. So to start my little explanation of the place, yeah, it's, it's kind of like glamping where a bunch of people from either hostel world you could go there or just random couples. So you'd get a lot of different people from, yeah, backpackers or just couples just trying to have a little relaxing escape. Uh, did, did we cause a bit of havoc to that escape? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not to talk about too much. But here it is. My first look at the place. I'm just arriving. And I know I'm filming this, but uh, it's pretty awkward about it. I mean, it's kind of awkward when you're trying to film everything, but you're meeting new people and you're kind of in the back of your head thinking, oh, this first impression is a bit wacky. But here it is. This is where I was staying in this little teepee thing. Only for the first night, to be fair. I thought that was going to be my literal place for this whole time. 
Like, I literally was thinking, damn, it's gonna be cool. I got there, had a nap because I was super hungover. And this is kind of my first proper look around of the place. It's a beautiful day, so sunny. And this is the outside area with everyone else I got to work with. And I had such an amazing group. But yeah, really just look at this. This shit's crazy. So blue, so amazing, and so nice. Here's me going for my first little trip to the beach. So you definitely had to wear thongs down here. The rocks were just so savage on your feet. But yeah, I'm just going for my first little spin. And I mean, oh, it's, this place is just next level. I'm gonna have to go back. So after this video, I actually do plan on doing a little collation of all the different times I went on little swim trips around because there's some really nice snorkeling and everything. And that's kind of was my main hobby was just going for swims and just being in the ocean. That was literally my day to day life. It's pretty crazy. So yeah, the next video is going to be more on a day in the life, but it was just amazing. You know, I'd wake up, go for a swim and really just chill. And then until it wasn't until like two o'clock or something where I had to start to work. But when I say work, all I really had to do was just kind of clean up after guests and just make sure everything was tidy. And you know, your kind of job is to be a host. This is me being a great host, just going for a swim. But yeah, it wasn't really just being a host. I mean, you got, I got to make some amazing friends. This is Sydney. She's Canadian, and I kid you not, it looks gloomy outside, and the water was hella cold. But I still convinced her to come out for a swim, and it was definitely worth it. Gonna jump off this rock a couple of times. Another weird fun fact about Croatia is like, in this video before, you could definitely see that my tan lines are kind of whack. I mean, <laughs> there's a very, very obvious t-shirt tan going on here. But literally in this month, I would say, I would sunbeck every day and literally no sunburn. How is that even possible? Well, they say that the, the rays in Australia are meant to hit different and they really do. Not even kidding. Oh yeah, I really wanted to point out, look at this. One, two, three. Every single one of these black dots is a sea urchin. So you've really got to watch out for this in Croatia. They do say though that the reason the water is so nice and blue in Croatia and like as a local tip as well, if you see sea urchins, it means the water's going to be clean. That's what they do. I mean, they, they eat something out of the water and they must, they filter it and they make it cleaner. So although it is scary, there is a good thing about having sea urchins around. But to sum it up, this is work away. And I'm sure if you choose to do the same thing, you can have an equally rewarding experience. And if you're as lucky as me, you'll get to spend it with some amazing people. To finish this video up, it's just a little video of an average day, an average morning for me, got my little bowl of cereal, coming down from where we stay, and just gonna go and take in the day. I mean, it is gloomy, but I can assure you, on a nice day, Croatia is beautiful. And I know that if you do a work away, you'll have a similar experience and just have such a good time. Thank you again for watching another one of my videos. Stay tuned. As I said, I'm going to put out a little video of just what it was like there, going for a lot of swimming trips. And you'll get to see some of the amazing people I met. Thank you.